All right, and welcome back. News 4 Tucson meteorologist Daniel McFarland. You have been very busy this evening tracking those storms, Daniel, and we can even hear it outside our studio. Yeah, it's getting closer and closer towards Midtown, isn't it? Yes. And it looks like it's getting weaker, too. So I know a lot of people up in the, you know, foothills that had all that rain yesterday in places like Casas Adobes probably won't be as strong as what we're seeing right now. All right. And it was some more good news for you. That severe thunderstorm warning I was talking about before has expired further on the west side. That is great news because that's the one that did have tornado potential. If you've been watching for the past 45 minutes, we've been keeping an eye on that one for you. It's really fallen apart and it looks like that potential is just about gone at this point in time. But if you live in Tucson, especially over in spots like Rita Ranch or along Houghton Road, that's where the worst of it is at the moment. That severe thunderstorm warning is set to continue until about 6 p.m. And for those of you on the other side of the rent cons, there is a very significant thunderstorm over here as well. It hasn't gone severe yet, but that's one that I wouldn't be surprised gets a warning here over the next few minutes. And that one we were talking about in Nogales is also still there till 6 o'clock. Now, the thing with this one is that it has produced a flash flood warning. This is not a fast moving storm, but that flash flood warning does include basically all the city of Nogales. So that's something else we're going to be watching during that time as well. Now, those of you around Tucson, we have to check out how tall this storm is because it does seem like there's going to be some spots where it's a tad bit taller than others. And that's going to tell me where the greatest potential potential for hail is and as you can see even beyond the screen right there over 50,000 feet that does tell me that it is going to be a very significantly strong storm and that will be making its way throughout the entire city here over the next little bit as well. Now you can see that a lot of that lightning still trying to make its way into spots like the Sabino Canyon area, but most of it's really sticking closer towards the south side of town, especially along Rita Ranch. And when it comes to a couple more things with this uh, storm, heavy rain's also been a huge thing too. So if you're along the east side, let's say close to Speedway right here, you're going to have a very heavy rain. That rate is going to be over five inches an hour and the lightning across the entire city has been something else we've been watching too. So if you're outside right now, you're certainly seeing the rain. And of course, about 61 strikes over the past 15 minutes, and that's just going to be in the city of Tucson. I would not be surprised if that increases with the way things look. Now, something we have with a storm on the west side with some very strong hail and it was about ping pong of all size and it looks like there's still a little bit left close towards Mission Road right there. So if you're going to be spending any kind of time around even Valencia, which is going to be this road right along here, I wouldn't be surprised if you're going to see some large hail, even though that severe thunderstorm has basically dissipated for you at this point in time. So again, strong thunderstorm moving across the city. It looks like if you're closer towards the airport or anywhere down towards the south of I-10, it's over for you. But if you're in the city of Tucson, just about everywhere south of the foothills is looking at heavy rain at the moment. So just be ready for that. Very high rain rates. We're going to continue to track that for you all the way up until that does expire and eventually leaves out of here. Now, Angelique, if you're wondering about after today, I think most of that excitement will be over. You're still looking at good rain chances every day there, but still those high temperatures getting back to 98. It's been a while since we've been that warm too. I know that humidity is still sticking around too.